floodwaters in Dane County continue to recede, but now home and business owners are facing an even bigger challenge, paying for restoration and repairs. Does insurance cover flood damage? Ty Leverty with the UW School of Business and an expert on property liability insurance is here to talk a little bit about that. Hi, thanks for being with us. Uh, thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit, do a lot of people have flood insurance? So a recent survey by the Insurance Information Institute uh, indicated about 14% of Americans have flood insurance, but in the Midwest it's actually lower at 8%, so and very few people. And you have to live in a certain area in order to qualify for flood that, insurance. That's correct. You have to li live in what is designated as a flood plain. And Madison? Madison, many areas of Madison are uh, in that category. Yeah. So is it thought that a lot of the people that were affected by this might be out of luck? That's correct. Uh, so the standard homeowner's insurance policy does not cover flood. So unless they, if they did not get the National Flood Insurance Protection, then they are unfortunately out of luck. Wow. wow. So if you're, let's say your basement got flooded and your $5,000 furnace is ruined, your SOL? Well, so again, if you if you have the National Flood Insurance Protection, uh, you'll you'll be covered. But if you do not, um, you're, uh, you're you won't have coverage. Wow. And it seems like a lot of people wouldn't think they need to sign on for that extra insurance. Yeah. So that is one of the major explanations for why people don't have it is they don't think um, they need it or they actually think that the homeowner's insurance that they bought covers it. But in, you need a special policy to get flood coverage. And what does it cost? I mean, is it very expensive? No, it's not because it is partially subsidized through the uh, federal government. And so the rates are um, supposed to be risk-based, but they're actually a little bit less than that in most most areas. And so, um, from a risk perspective, it is not unaffordable. It, yeah. And you get it from your own insurance, or you have to go through the government. How, yeah. Where do you get so, it? So this is where the, the things get very interesting. It is a uh, government program, but the private insurers um, administer it. So you would go through your insurance company to do this. So and if you have an American Family Insurance, you'd go through your American Family See, I agent. Want, I want the flood insurance. Well, brighter or whatever? Yes. Or they're completely separate policies? They're completely separate policies. Is this similar with businesses? Do a lot of businesses not yeah. sign up for this too? So most commercial property insurance contracts do not cover flood and you have to get it again through the National Flood Insurance Program. How do you find out if you're living in an area that you could qualify? Oh, so that's great. There's uh, flood maps that are available through the National Flood Insurance Program that will tell you whether whether you are in that plane. And I imagine it, when you purchase your house, um, your bank would tell you uh, whether or not you're in the flood plain because um, they are, would like to protect their class. Yeah, it protects their yeah, investment. That's their right. Investment as well. Well, it's interesting. So even if the rain's coming in through the roof, it's not flooding from that's right from the ground. So um, any any water. Um, is going to be excluded. It's a pretty broad exclusion. Wow. Uh, well, That's so good to know, I guess. Yes. If, if you didn't get flooded, maybe you want to think about it. For yes, I think more Americans probably should be thinking about buying flood insurance. All right, uh, good advice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Great information. Here. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.